Nick Polo George's father started their family fur business nearly 60 years ago. He's seen fur go in and out of fashion over the years, but his business is now facing a bigger threat than any style trend. Lawmakers in New York City and state have proposed an all-out ban on the sale of new fur products. If the furs go, this is a slippery slope. Guaranteed, this is only the first step in their agenda. Will we not have wool? Will we not have, we are not allowed to eat a hamburger? Leading the push for the ban at the state level is Assembly Member Linda Rosenthal. Rosenthal believes New York should follow the lead of cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles, both of which have recently voted to ban fur. People don't want to see animals tortured uh, and sacrificed. Uh, for fashion. Ashley Byrne with People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals says New York holds an important place in the fight against fur. New York is a fashion capital um, and so for New York to ban fur it really would set an example for the country and the world. The fur industry says the ban would kill more than a thousand jobs and Paula George says that despite some big fashion houses going fur free for him business is good. I'm concerned, yeah, and I'm concerned from people that are with me for 40 years that they only know one trade and now somebody wants to put us out of business. Supporters of the ban concede that jobs will be lost, but contend that many of the skills in fur-related jobs can be transferred to other jobs in fashion. If passed, the state ban wouldn't go into effect until 2021. David Martin, The Associated Press, New York.